Boris Doss, how does it feel to be the top receiver coming into the season? Um, it feels great. I don't really feel that I'm the top receiver. We all great receivers out here. We just working to get better. Um, it's been a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? For me, for the all these lo last five years, I probably my first year. Um, it's, it's a great feeling to be out here. Being a veteran receiver, talk about some of the guys that you learned the craft from here at all. Uh, Ed Johnson, Ryan Singleton, Terrence Lewis, DJ um, uh, it's a whole line of them boys. They all, as my my first two years, I didn't play a down offense. Great special team, so I learned everything from them. So how were you able to stick with it, considering that you weren't an offensive player, just playing on special teams? Um, mostly um, keeping faith in God first. Uh, my family and of course them receivers. They all told me, you know, it's, it, they did the same thing. It's gonna be my time. Just be patient and keep working. So. I just try to stay consistent. How tough is it to be patient when you got so many receivers and so so many different things going on? It's tough. It's tough. It's very tough. But I keep faith in God. I read my Bible. I try to stay. You know what I'm saying um, positive. So yeah. talk about uh, Coach Pinky Joseph and what he brings to the receiving <laughs> core. Excitement. I, I really enjoy Coach Joseph. He, he really excited me. He always on us. I was trying to get me better. All of us. You know what I'm saying. So he's a uh, he's a great inspiration to us all. And then I'm sure the lessons. You got two former quarterbacks transformed into receivers, uh, Payne and Dessa. What have you told them to kind of get them in the receiver mode? Um, to, to to really work on their craft. Extra hours out to practice, working with me sometimes, working with other receivers, catching the ball. They really did a good transition of coming over and um, working. They make a good play. This is the second week of uh, practice. Just talk about how things are going overall. It's going all right. Only, um, the tempo is not where it's supposed to be. We're not all in shape. But... Um, Overall, we get, we're becoming more as a team, so we just need to get the tempo. What's the key to surviving the two practices every other day? Uh, I think staying positive, um, coming out here with a different mindset every day, um, having that championship on our mind all the time. As one of the veteran leaders last year, we got off to a good start, but then a tough, tough finish. What is it going to take to complete the race this time? Um, faith in each other. Um, staying as a team, being consistent, of course, and um, trusting the person that's beside you. Um, when I play out there, I try to do I try to do my best for my teammates. So if I make a block, I try to make sure I make it the best so them boys can scope. I expect the same thing from them.